hello beautiful friends welcome again all right so in the next in the last section i actually showed you guys how to like adding we added some custom fits button test feed and also we set up our colors and also the in the util class we added our routers and the snack bar message okay but i actually forgot to add one thing inside this constant which was the uh, the url so we are going to store our url here so this is more like i'm going to store the the base url that i'll be using for this particular project so to get that i'm going to go to the browser so remember i told you that this is the url we'll be using okay which is this uh yeah this is the base url which we'll be using so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to copy it okay all right once i do that i will come here and then create a string of url so we can actually create a class if you want and we can call this app string okay yeah something like this app string or app url where you can store all your url okay and yeah stuff like this and this would be really be nice so you can have a static method and you can call it a base url and then we can it all right so we are good we are good we are good with that okay so this is actually the base url where we're getting the uh we are to make the request to get uh to send the tax create users and stuff like that okay so right now what we are going to be focusing on today is building the users authentication page for this application so we'll be building the login page and also the register page but before we do that we also we need to actually set up our splash screen okay yeah we need to set up our splash screen so what i'm going to do first thing first inside the screen i will create a folder called authentication so just know that anything inside this authentication we actually represent the our auth pages okay anything inside here represent our auth page so i will have login dot that inside here okay and then we have another one which is register dot that as well so inside here we have our login okay so i don't know if this thing is inside this page or not so i don't really know what's happening here let's see let's open it in containing folder to see what is happening here so screens okay authentication is actually inside authentication all right so we have our login and the register all right okay cool so once you collapse this uh, authentication you can uh, you can see the login page and also the register page but for now the login page and the register page is not yet set up so what i'm going to do so for now i'm just going to collapse each and every one of these okay and including the constant so inside here i'm going to create a new page called splash dot that okay so this is actually our splash screen and right here i'm going to be creating this is going to be a, a stateful yeah a stateful widget actually so i'm creating material okay so from here on i'll be typing most of these things okay so <laughs> you guys can just learn from that okay so i'll have a stateful widget here and we'll call this one splash screen like so and then inside the splash screen we have a scaffold widget and then i'll have an app bar not really an app bar we don't think we need an app bar so i'll just have a body widget and then i'll call this one center okay so it's going to be at the center of the page okay then we can have a child of test uh app logo goes here okay for okay for now we can just return a flutter logo okay yeah you know flutter actually has a logo so which we can uh, return there and you want to make this constant as well so we are going to make this uh, splash screen to be the main page from the main activity page okay so so i think most of these things are what you guys already understand so we're going to go to the uh, main page so from here now i'm going to be removing this home page that we have here okay so it's not needed and then i will replace this with the splash screen page okay and like so we save it up so if i do a hot restart we are going to see the flutter logo so you can see the flutter logo showing there all right so now we are going to be working on the splash screen now so what we want to do is just to create a simple navigator method that will be navig that we just use to navigate to the next page so that will be inside in its state so i'll call this one navigate like so gates i'm going to create a new method now okay like so and then for every so i'll just use feature dot delay here so for every three seconds navigate to whichever page depending on if the user is authenticated or not but we are not going to handle check for authentication for now so we are just going to navigate to the login page so that we can build up uh, the ui okay 
but we are still going to come back here to do some modification to check if the user is actually not uh, if the user is created or not so i'll be using this routers so we use page navigator then we'll pass the contest and then we use next page only so that the user won't be able to come back okay then we'll pass the page you want to navigate the user to all right so i hope you guys are getting the flow and everything so we use page navigator then we have our cts which is a contest and then next page only all right then the page which we want to navigate to this is going to be the login page but for now we have not created the login page so just be ready to face that error that red line all right so we are going to go over to our login dot that page now so inside here we are going to be creating the login dot that page okay that's going to handle everything for us so for this case we'll be using a custom screen view the reason why i'm using a custom screen view is because we want the page to be scrollable and responsive all right so i'll be having a material app like so okay then right here i'm going to be creating a stateful widget and we'll call this one login okay let me just call it login page all right so we can go back here to splash screen and change this page from login which is going to be a cost page to login page like so okay so now that error is gone if we do a hot restart it's going to take us to this page okay but first let me add a scaffold widget and then i'll add a simple app bar to this okay so the app bar i think the app bar is just going to be a test widget with a with a title of login okay so we're just going to add the app bar here with the title of login so if we do a hot restart now you will see that it's going to take us to this page after three seconds okay okay one two three all right um three three seconds is already over okay yeah so we have the login page right there but you can see this color is not really what we want we want a primary color to be of type purple you know from our color section here okay but we're going to do that later because of time so i'll just uh, wrap up this immediately so i'm going to have first thing for the custom screw view okay uh based on some responsiveness so custom screw views take a list of slivers so because i want to add another widget i'll be using sliver to box adapter and then that will give me access to use a column inside there and then from that column i'll be able to add a padding and so we have an engine set padding okay so it's going to be 15 and then from there i can add a child of column okay since inside this login we'll be creating two test feed one is for login and email sorry and the other one is for password so what i'm going to do i'm going to create two controllers up here okay the controllers one is for email and the other one is for password and it's very advice you dispose of uh, the controllers whenever you are exiting the page okay so i'm going to call dispose email.clear password.clear all right like so so the next thing i'm going to do is to create the two uh remember i'm using my custom test feed uh, which is actually from here if you look here now you can see the name let me go to widget global widget and you can see we have custom test feed that takes a title a hint and a controller okay so i'll be using uh the custom test feed here to actually do that so we need to import the custom test feed as well okay and you can see it takes email it takes controller and it takes the hint all right so let's save this up and you're gonna, you're gonna see the widget so you can see how beautiful it's looking email so we can type in our valid email address here and then it takes a uh, password as well so now we're going to do the same thing okay uh yeah we're going to do the same thing for password as well so i'm just going to copy okay so we're going to have a password as well so just paste it here still the same controller but we just have to change the hint the controller and the test it's still the same widget so if we paste it now you see another one which is actually password and this so okay then finally we are going to create a button a button okay to actually authenticate the user so the button is just going to be simple we are just going to use uh, the custom button which i talked to you about and inside here is a custom button so we'll be using that it has on tap status test and that okay so for this now i'm just going to call uh, the custom custom button right yeah custom button okay so it takes uh it takes a test 
so for this I'll call the test to be login and it takes an untap property so this untap we, we're going to use it to perform the authentication and send the request to the database all right and then finally no not finally we have a contest as well okay then another one we have is the status so for now I'm just going to set the status to false okay all right just set the status to false and we can save that okay I think we need to save that all right so you can see the button is actually purple which you know this one is also supposed to be purple but we're going to change that later then if it's true let's say if the status is true you will see what is going to show now it's going to show loading with a gray background all right so that's if we are trying to authenticate the user so that's why i set it that way then uh finally we are going to have two things one is for if the user is not registered is not has not created an account so you want to register so we have things like this uh, a size box and a gesture detector and then here we have uh, register page where you can now navigate to the register page to register so this is if you're not if you have not registered yet okay so let me comment this so that we're going to see how it shows and uh, yeah this is just a simple UI that everyone anybody can create register instead once you click on it it's going to take us to the register page but now we have not done that register page so what I'll do I'll just copy this and go over to the register page uh, paste it here so I'll come here once you highlight it you press ctrl f okay it will open this page and if you are in uh, maybe mark you can run command f then here we can just type uh, register page so what it does is going to replace any test with login page okay so we don't really have to type that one after the other okay then we have email so remember the from the api from the api you actually have two things to pass no we have four things that the API requests for creating an account, which is first name, last name, email, and password. So for now, we are going to create each of those feed. But first thing first, let's create uh, the controllers for those feed first. So I'm going to create the controller for last name and also the controller for first name. All right. And we also need to dispose of them here. So we have the first name. okay like so and then we have the last name like so okay then we change this login to register okay okay register i guess yeah we are right with that and then we have email we have password and then from email and password we're supposed to have first name and last name as well so i'm going to change that i'm going to add another two custom widgets here so one is for first name and the other one is for last name email and password so this stuff now will be changed from login to register like so and this one instead of uh, register instead is going to be login instead and what will happen when whenever we click on it is going to take us to the login page okay then we are going to go back to our login page and change this one back to okay register page and you have to import that to fix that error all right so we are good if i do a hot restart now okay so let's see what happens when i do a hot restart all right so from the splash screen it will take us to the login page when you click on register user it takes us to the register page and you can see the email password and every other thing if you click on login it takes us back to this and we're going to change these colors later and then fix every other thing that needs to be fixed all right so i'll see you in the next video